Tick roadblocks to withdrawal. They are merely an insurance policy against a lousy deal. My Lords, I have one simple point that I would like to make, and it's... I have one simple point to make, and it is this. Order. Oh, sorry. It is this. Uh, my Lords, Parliament... Okay. Uh, we will hear from the Conservative benches, and then from the Labour benches, and then, indeed, from uh, Lord Pearson. Uh, my Lords, my simple point is this. Parliament will pronounce four... I take the view that a lot's going to happen in the next two years, not least, not least that people are going to start seeing what the implications of this are. Yeah, yeah. And I want to remind us of the state of our National Health Service and the fact that we had people on the street, people working in the National Health Service, many of them, saying this can't go on and that the need for resource is essential. The fact that we have a complete crisis when it comes to the care of our elderly, which needs money, and yet we're going to be seeing huge tranches of money spent on trade negotiators, on seeking to reinstate uh, uh, immigration processes, and any number of things that this is going to cost us. And I think as people recognise that in fact our public services are going to see greater and greater depletion in the shadows of this great Brexit, Brexit movement, people are going to say, is this really what we wanted? And it goes back to that thing, did people vote to become poorer? I sat with two very distinguished businessmen whose names would be on all of your lips the other night who said that by 2025 the people of Great Britain the middle classes as well as the working classes will be 30% poorer. Just think about that. 30% less well off. And we are lying to people if we don't tell them the truth about it. But people will see, and they have to be given the opportunity of seeing, and I won't have lectures from anybody whose business interests are all in South Africa and who therefore is not concerned about what happens here. So I really do press on this House. I hope that they I hope the now Baroness will give way, but she is drifting to a second reading speech. Um, there is a specific uh, proposal before this House, the amendment proposed by the Noble Lord, Lord Newby. Uh, I'd be grateful if Noble Lords could be brief. There's a lot of people wanting to speak and address the substance of that motion and not the, uh, the other uh, aspects that they may wish to draw to the attention of the House. I, I, I certainly will not continue to make a speech, but what I want to say is that the reason why people are asking that this eventually goes back to the people is because we started with the people. And Parliament has been saying we are bound by the fact that people have given us a direction of travel.